guys, if you are a guy, you might want to think about stopping this video right now and going to watch something else because I'm going to talk about something that you might not be that interested in. Vaginas. And I'm not talking about a cute, sexy vagina. I'm talking about an itching, burning, irritated, gross vagina. Yes. Okay. Uh, ladies, I think that did the trick, I hope. And now it's just us and we can get down to business. Talking about one of my favorite subjects of all time. Yeast infections. Oof. God. You may have noticed uh, a week or two ago when I was sucking down a, what looked like a cocktail, and it was a cranberry cocktail, in one of my other videos, and I mentioned that I had a little something percolating down there. Well, here's the thing. I was able to totally cure it naturally. So, God, don't they just suck? Doesn't it suck when you have a problem down there? It's like, like, really? I mean, really? So here's the thing. You probably know this already, but I am not a big fan of medicine. I am a fan of medicine when you need it. And Lord knows I've needed antibiotics. The kids have needed it. Great. They're there for a reason, and thank God we have them. But if they're not totally necessary, you know, I'd, try, I'd usually rather try a homeopathic remedy before just jumping right to, like, you know, popping a pill. Especially because I'm still breastfeeding the budge. And, you know, I just, I'd like to be as clean as possible. So when I felt a little, you know, something going on, I thought, all right, well, I'm going to do this naturally. I am not going to take something. So... It worked. Like freaking vaginal magic, people. So let me tell you what I did. Okay. First of all, first things first, and I kind of did things in steps. I went to the old trusty coconut oil. Now, I need to do a video on what I use this for because I use it head to toe on myself and the kids. Like, this is like magic. I use, this is from Sprouts, it's organic, virgin, unrefined coconut oil. And you can see it's hot here. So you can see that it's in a liquid form. Well, when it gets cool, it gets like, you know, Crisco. It gets like hard like lard. Um, but the good thing is you just kind of warm it up in your hands a little bit and it turns into the liquid. And it's not greasy. It's just, I mean, you'd think it's oil, but it really isn't that greasy. Anyway, I will talk about that in another video on how I use it. Well, I used it on the JJ. So... What you do, step one, you take your tampon, and these are organic cotton tampons without applicators. Ladies, you got to get on board with the organic thing and get rid of all the, you know, all the chemicals, the chemicals. Um, so take, unwrap this, dip it in the coconut oil, and shove it on up there. I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> shove it on up there overnight. And coconut oil, you might not know because you cook with it, whatever, it has antifungal, antibacterial properties. So it can work for a yeast infection, a vaginal infection, um, and it will work wonders. Now, if, if that doesn't work, next step, oregano oil. Now, do not take the oregano oil, do, do stick this in and shove it up there. You will burn, you will have burns because this is like super potent. So you take like a drop of this and you mix it with the coconut oil. I should just put like one drop and then mix it with a lot of coconut oil. I don't really know what I did with the, the ratio, but um, maybe like one drop to 25 drops of coconut oil. I just kind of dumped it like in a little bowl. Um, and then dip it in, shove it up there. And your hoo-ha, We'll kind of smell like a salad, which is, you know, not that bad. Um, a salad with cottage cheese. Ah, that was a bad joke. Sorry, gross. Next up, garlic. You guys are going to think I'm nuts. I swear to God, these remedies are like really foolproof. Take a garlic. Stinks. My hands are now going to stink. Poke a few holes in it, and overnight, 
stick it up there. Now, don't make the mistake that I made. You don't need to like shove it all the way in there because the first time I did it, I needed a GPS tracking device to find it because it got kind of got lost. You know what I mean? And I had to go in and I had to really dig around and I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room and that was going to be real embarrassing trying to explain why I have a garlic shoved up my vagina. You know what I mean? So just stick it in, cut a poke a few holes, stick it in and go to sleep. I'm telling you, I think that these remedies have been around for like ages, centuries, whatever. And the reason is because they work. The other thing is you can also use melaleuca or tea, the other word is tea tree oil, instead of the oregano. And I think that it doesn't burn as much. So that might be another option. Um, and then of course, I swear to you, it will work. You can also take that coconut oil and just rub it all over, you know, outside, inside, just lube it on up. Oh, it's also a good lubricant for when you're healed and you want to get busy, you know? It's also good for that. But then, of course, cranberry juice. Why is it so bad? Oh my God. It's just terrible. It's just so terrible. But it works too. So I did a combination of all these things. And it took about 48 hours and it was healed. Uh, oh, make sure you get though the unsweetened cranberry juice. Mix it with, like what I did is I mix it with um, fizzy water or whatever. Um, but get, this is the kind I get. Um, it's just organic, just cranberry, unsweetened. If you eat too much sugar, that can actually exacerbate the problem down there. So stay away from sugar. Um, and then, of course, everybody knows, chow down on yogurt. There's something about the live cultures and the good bacteria or whatever that's in yogurt that totally helps the situation out down there. And I've heard of people who have taken a tampon dipped it in some dannon, shoved it up there. Um, but I would say only eat organic yogurt that is plain. Like I said, the sugar doesn't do you any favors down there. We only buy plain yogurt anyway, and which Lulu really likes eating in the morning. And so she's like, oh, mom, where's all the yogurt? We just bought like a whole bunch of it the other day. I'm like, oh, sorry, I ate all of it. So, but, Something in this whole mixture of things that I did it totally worked like a charm and I was able to heal myself. The other funny thing about the medicine in, in antibiotics is that lots of times they cause yeast infections because they wipe out your body of bacteria, including the good bacteria that's down there. So a lot of times when you finish antibiotics, the doctor tells you start eating a lot of yogurt or take some probiotics to put the good bacteria back into your system, you know? It's just, you know, a delicate balance of things you gotta do to keep yourself healthy in certain areas. Okay, well, that's it. So I hope I'm able to help some of you. Uh, let me know, if it's not TMI, let me know if this helps, okay? Because I, I wanna know. If you have any tricks that you know of, let me know those too. Um, I'm always curious to learn some new things, and um, especially, you know, if they're natural. Um, so keep me posted. We'll all be talking about yeast infections and bacterial, bacterial vaginitis or whatever it's called. So um, I wish you all a happy, healthy, awesome, cute, sexy vagina. Isn't that all we want in life? Really? Isn't it? Okay. <laughs> So stupid. Bye guys! Thanks for watching.